Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight in grade 5 in module 6, I'm working on lesson number 27. And that means that I'm again solidifying my writing and interpreting of numerical expressions. Now, there are a number of problems on tonight's homework. I'm just going to do the one because it's one of the word problems. It's a little more difficult, so I'm going to do this one, 1B. Um, let's use the read, draw, and write process to solve word problems below. And we'll read this one first. We're using our read, draw, and write strategy. Let's read first. Julie bought brought 24 apples to school to share with her classmates. Okay. Of those apples, two-thirds are red and the rest are green. Julie's classmates ate three-fourths of the red apples and one-half of the green apples. How many apples are left? Hmm. Okay. Well, so I know we're going to have to do some drawing here as part of our read, draw, and write strategy. Let's see. I want to draw the whole bunch of apples right at the beginning. So that's 24 apples in all, right? And let's see. Two-thirds of those are red. Two-thirds of those are red. So I'm going to just estimate first. Let's see. I'm going to sketch that in. Two-thirds of these are red. And the rest are green. So you know what? I really should figure out how big those numbers are, right? So two-thirds of those are red. So two-thirds are red. So what's two-thirds of 24? Well, two-thirds of 24, I know, is... 2 thirds times 24. And that is, let's see, 24 times 2 is 48 divided by 3, and 48 divided by 3 is 16. So I know that there are 16 red apples, and the rest of them are green. So let's see, 16 plus what number would give us 24? Let's see, that must be, I think that must be 8, right? Okay, so 16 plus 8, right. 2 thirds are red, the rest are green. Okay. Julie's classmates ate three-fourths of the red apples and one-half of the green apples. So they ate three-fourths of the red apples. So I'm just going to say eight three-fourths of the red apples, 16. And what is three-fourths times 16? Well, one thing, you know, the last time I went ahead and I multiplied this all the way through, this time I'm going to notice that I could divide the numerator and the denominator of these both by 4, divided by 4 here and divided by 4 in that denominator. And I think that 4 divided by 4 in the denominator would become 1, and the 16 divided by 4 would become 4. 4 times 3 is 12. And that makes sense, that 12 is 3 fourths of 16. So they ate 12. Actually, that means that they left how many red apples? Let's see, they started with 16, and they ate 12 of them, so that must have been they left 4 red apples. Now how about on the green side? Oh, it was easier, right? They ate half of them. Oh, well, that's really pretty straightforward. So on the green side, they ate one half of eight. That's four. So that means that they left, when they ate four, they must have left four green apples. And let's see, the actual final question was how many apples are left? Well, there's four green apples left and four red apples left. I would say, oops, there are eight apples left. Awesome. So this is not a bad problem. We managed to, to break this down into a pretty simple tape diagram, right? 24 broken down into red and green apples. Then we did some really simple um, multiplying by fractions, right? Two thirds of 24, one half of eight. That is not hard stuff. Maybe the trickiest part of this is to remember that they didn't, even though they told us how many got eaten, they ate 12 of the red apples and uh, four of the green apples. That's not what was asked. The, what was asked was how many apples were left over. So we had to remember that if they ate 12, they left four red. And if they ate four green, they left four green. And then we can add together what was left over, our two leftover piles to get our answer, eight apples left. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.